Hey everybody, it's Shelly with Gilbert Marketplace and today I'm just going to do a couple quick tutorials on doing some vinyl and some decals. Uh, I do not own a vinyl machine so I wanted to show you some options besides ordering it. Um, you can buy different um, ceramic items and do uh, decals on them. Now this one's a Ray Dunn font, and you can purchase these on Etsy or um, just from local, you know, people. But it's really um, simple. It comes, the vinyl comes um, on there, and then they put a cover over the top. And then you use a scraping tool, and you, you know, scrape it real hard. And then all that should stick on the front piece, uh, piece sorry. And that will be your back, obviously. And then you can take it and place it on your item. And make sure you get it on there nice and centered. Because usually you don't get two tries. I'm going to have to set this down to do that. And you'll just set that right on your item. And push it down. And then just use your scraping tool again. This vinyl is actually really strong. And if you try to pull it off later, you'll really have a difficult time. If it's not uh, attaching, just give it a little bit more scrape. But you want to pull it up kind of slow and make sure it's down. And now you have like a Ray Dunn little soap pump. It's really quite simple. You can order um, on Amazon. This is Clear Labels, and they are excellent or mm, putting anything, labels on anything. But you can just print it on your computer. So if you didn't have a Cricut or a Silhouette or something like that, you could do this. This has a clear back so you don't notice it on your items. Also, you can buy labels from Avery. And Avery is excellent because they already have all their templates. So you take the image. In this case, I took the Starbucks image and I did get this on Pinterest. So you can just um, Google Starbucks. This says best mom ever in the world. And it's got, uh, you know, the uh, little um, logo. And this Avery is um, 22825. And you would just go on to avery.com and you would actually print it. So these are like a sticker and they just peel up. Again, it's like those clear labels. The Avery makes clear labels. So instead of, you know, doing the um, silhouette or any of those kind of things, and I just purchased these cool little candles that look like coffee. And then you just lay it on there and push it down and it's that simple you have this cute little coffee candle and these are great for little gifts for teachers or anybody for mother's day just your mailman something you know special like that so that's another easy way to do um, labels and this was done on the Cricut and I purchased one of these little containers they're assorted with different little cubbies in it and you can also just apply this on here. I thought these would be good. I did them for Father's Day, Grandpa, and you can, you know, put tools in it. They can put any little trinkets. And this one just says, I'm nuts about you. And you could actually get different nuts and put them in the different containers too. Or you can use nuts and bolts. So again, you're just going to push down real hard on your um, vinyl. And then you're going to, I always start at the corner and just make sure that it's all coming up so you've got the whole image just nice and slow and everything attaches and you can just line it up to where you want it I'm gonna try to put that right on the raised part and you can eyeball it or you can make a little mark so you know exactly where you want it. But I'm just going to push down on it. Use my tool again. 
and I'm going to pull up on this. This might not be as centered as it should have been. So this transfer paper is super, super sticky. So sometimes it's a little more difficult to get it started. But because there's a bend in this, I'll just push these down as I go. And this we're going to push down. Sometimes, like I said, you just got to get that little corner. This, this transfer I don't like as much because it is very, very sticky. go. And just kind of roll it. Roll it back. Jeez. There we go. And you want to be careful because you don't want to stretch your vinyl because that will happen if you pull it off too fast. And you don't want to rip it like on the S ends or the little different um, yeah just kind of keep it low and close you can pull it back and this is not going to be real straight I'm so disappointed yeah I should have used my marks they thought, hey, if the camera I could just wing in here. And you will be to tell I won't. <laughs> but these little vinyl, these little vinyl uh, gifts are, you know, super easy and they make little cute little gifts. So, Anyway, that's it for today. I think I'll do a live tomorrow on some 4th of July decorations. So stay tuned, everyone. And everyone have a great day.